Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we're gonna to go over charting pages. Now, we're gonna use this data on the chart in order to understand what pitches are being affected, what pitches the hitter hit, and how to use this data to get the hitter out. Before you take a look at all these numbers, I'm going to show you what this means. Here's the key. The number one equals a fastball, two is a curveball, three is a slider, four is a changeup, five is other. Other means knuckleball, splitter, cutter. We are going to face Al Green. He's number seven. Al Green. He's the shortstop and he bats left. Okay. Our pitcher throws him strike one, which is a curveball. Then we throw ball one, which is a fastball up and in. Then we throw strike two, which is a fastball down and away. The reason why this one is circled is because Al Green swung at that pitch. Every time they swing, you, sw you circle it. Then we threw a change up down and away for ball two. The next pitch is a fastball in that he pulls foul for strike two again because he fouled it off. Then we come back with a slider down and in, which we miss for ball three. And now we have to throw him a fastball down the middle so we don't walk him. And Al Green comes up and hits a double to center field. So we chart Al Green, double. We threw him three fastballs for strikes and he swung at all three of them. So he likes fastballs. We threw him a breaking ball, 0-0, which means he took it for a strike. He's going to be a disciplined hitter. He looked at borderline pitches, so he has a good eye. Now let's take this information from Al's first at bat and apply it to his second at bat. And we're going to start him off with an 0-0 breaking ball. Strike. Then we're going to throw him a changeup, something that looks like a fastball, and hopefully he swings at and throw off his timing a little bit. And let's say he pulls it foul. Now we're ahead of Al and we're gonna be able to beat him on a fastball up, a fastball out of the zone, because one, he likes fastballs, and two, he hasn't seen a fastball this at that. So let's throw him a fastball up. This is how you use the data in his first at bat to get the hitter out in his next at bat. A full game chart usually looks something like this. In high school and travel ball, we did not have the luxury of the technology that college and pro teams have, but there are very valuable lessons that you can learn from charting pitches. Now, you can learn the hitter's likes and dislikes or strengths and weaknesses what location and what pitch he likes to hit, and what location and what pitch he doesn't like to hit. Um, you can tell the result of an, of an at bat. Here he hits a double and a 3 2 count. And here we're able to pitch around him and pitch backwards and strike him out. Um, what pitches are working for our pitcher? Well, in our first at bat, our pitcher had a hard time throwing off speed pitches for strikes. In our second at bat with Al, he did a better job. But throughout the course of the game, you can tell. Our pitch count after this at bat, he threw a total of seven pitches. After this at bat, he threw a total of three pitches. 
And throughout the course of the game, you can add up all his pitches per at bat and end up with his total. Tendencies for hitters and pitchers. This is valuable because you can pick up on the pitch and know that that pitch is coming. Every time he comes to 0-2, he likes to throw a change up in the dirt. Every time he goes to 2-0, he likes to throw a fastball. In. He likes to throw 0-0 breaking balls or he likes to throw 0-0 fastballs. This chart will tell you all that information. And then the last one is a spray chart. Now Al goes up there and hits the ball at the middle for a double in his first step back. So we're gonna play Al straight up. The next at bat he strikes out. But there might be other players that hit a ground ball to first and then hit a fly ball to right field and we're gonna play him a little bit more pull in his third at bat. Well that wraps up charting pitches. Thank you guys for listening. I would like to Send a shout out to Southern Squeeze Baseball and Connection Sports Academy. I'm Coach Artie Clyde, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the diamond soon.